We're here with Tufts baseball coach John Casey, who was presented with the 600th victory of his career on April 27th in a 5-1 win at Bowdoin. He is the 43rd coach in NCAA Division III baseball history to reach the 600 wins milestone. Coach, what does the milestone of 600 coaching victories mean to you? Uh, well, Paul, I think it just means I've been around for a long time and I'm old. Um, <laughs> I think that when you've been in the game long enough, you know, I've coached over a thousand games, I guess at this point it gives you an appreciation of all the guys who've, uh, who've played for you and, and helped you get there. I think uh, that's probably the most important thing you get. At. It's just one of those moments that hits you in the back of the head and says, take a minute and reflect um, and reflect about all the guys uh, that I've had the pleasure to coach and, um, and just take a minute to appreciate all they've done for me. So, Do you remember your first victory? Are there any others among the 600 that stand out in particular? Uh, I, I'm not sure about my first victory. I, I, I think it was at Stonehill. I think I, the one part I remember about was taking a line drive off the head and BP and the sky being purple for the first three innings. Um, and we won a close game, so it was better that I was sort of dazed and didn't mess up the game too much. Um, in terms of that, probably the only one that really sticks out, and I'm not even sure if it was, I think it was my 400th victory when... The game ended when Kevin made a play uh, to Brian, and and that's sort of what stuck with me because it was a pretty good play, and I didn't even know it was my 400 until someone said it to me. But uh, the fact that they were involved in the final out was was a little bit more of a, a poignant moment for me. Like you just mentioned, you've coached your two oldest sons, Brian and Kevin, as players at Tufts, and both have also served as assistant coaches for you. What has that experience been like? Um, from a from a father's standpoint, uh, being with your sons is, is always just awesome. Um, I I know this might not come out as well as I wanted to, but um, you know I, I, they're all my sons. Every guy who plays for me, I think I treat the same as my sons. I would hope they think that. Um, so, but you know, as with any father, you know, it's more about controlling the emotion and. and you know, hoping your son doesn't strike out. Yet we ended two two times. We ended in a final playoff game with Brian striking out and Kevin striking out, which is sort of a parent's nightmare. But on the other hand, you feel the same way for any kid that happened that to that. Um, so um, I, I'm more proud of the fact that they've chosen to coach, um, and they're they're all they're very good coaches, very different coaches, but really very good. So it's just it's just that that part um, makes a lot of sense to me. You've been at Tufts for over 30 years as a player and coach. What's special about Tufts does it, that has made it a place you want to be for so long? The wisdom of all the other athletic directors in the country not to hire me is probably why I've been here. But uh, seriously, um, I think Tufts attracts a special person. Um, I've always felt that Tufts is a place that changes people's lives, and I've seen it. Um, we're, we're tough to label, but when, when I think back on what a Tufts kid uh, Tufts person is, is they're just people who want to make a difference and, and no matter what it is. Um, the, the community service our guys have done uh, has changed my life as much as it changed theirs. Um, the way our guys compete, the way our guys take great pride, the way we, you know, that some of my, a lot of my former players are now my best friends. Uh, and I think that, I, I like to think that's special. I know it happens other places, but I just think uh, Tufts creates a, just a different, gives people a chance to, to move up in life and be different. And uh, I think that's probably the most special thing. You're the seventh coach in New England Division Three history to reach 600 wins, joining guys like Bill Holowaty from Eastern Connecticut, Ed Flaherty from Southern Maine, Pete Varney from Brandeis. How do you define the fraternity of New England baseball coaches and why so many have enjoyed such great success and longevity? I like to tell everyone, when I first got the job, Tufts was in the Greater Boston League, and um, I was a 23-year-old kid um, doing this, and uh, I get a call from Eddie Pellegrini, the legend at Boston College. I got a call from Alex Nahesian, a legend at Harvard. I get a call from Tinka Conley, one of the greatest gentlemen in the game of baseball. Uh, and that just made me, they, they taught me that this was about being a ba taking care of the game of baseball first. It wasn't about just doing those things and, and from that line comes guys like like Pete Varney who's been a great friend and Bruce Wheeler and Joe Zavitaro just awesome awesome guys uh, Andy Baylock at UConn you know the one beautiful thing about 
baseball in New England is it's not divisional. We're all baseball coaches, and we all go through the same things about playing when it's 20 degrees and 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 promoting our game and having a New England association. So people are very proud about what New England baseball is, and I've been fortunate to be surrounded by guys. I mean, I, I think Eddie Flaherty is one of the class acts in New England, and, and I love competing against them, and there's nothing better than watching two Irish guys go at each other, although Eddie usually wins most of the time. But... Uh, it's it's an honor to be around to be mentioned with those guys because I think it's been great. But we, I I like to say that Pete, Eddie, Bill, uh, you know, we were brought up right by the guys who went before us. You know, like Andy Blaylock and Bruce Wheeler and Joe Zav and, and Tinker and all those guys. I mean, we were brought up right, and it's our job to bring the next group up right. Well, thanks very much, Coach, and good luck the rest of the season. Thanks, Paul. Appreciate it.